Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. As military forced to work for free from shutdown, look what greedy illegals are doing now. Although illegal alien criminals had over 30 years to apply for legal status, they have for months lobbied Democrats in order to get them to block funding for the government unless the bill granting them citizenship rights was also added to the 2018 budget. On Friday Democrats answered that call and decided to show America their true colors by putting illegal alien criminals ahead of law-abiding American citizens and our military servicemen and women. By mounting a filibuster of a four-week spending bill, denying the government the cash it needs to remain open and our military from getting what it needs to continue the awesome service they provide for us the American people. And in the wake of this asinine Democrat shutdown, illegal aliens ignorantly cheered at the fact they now believe they are being taken seriously. The Washington Times reports. Illegal immigrants cheer as dreamer shutdown hits. Democrats called it the Trump shutdown. Republicans labeled it the Schumer shutdown. But in reality, it was the Dreamer shutdown. Illegal immigrant Dreamers had for months begged Democrats to block funding for the government unless the bill granted them citizenship rights. On Friday Democrats heeded that call, mounting a filibuster of a four-week spending bill, denying the government the cash it needs to remain open. In the wake of the shutdown Dreamers cheered saying they were finally being taken seriously. See also, Graham offers path out of dreamer shutdown. We know that the public is on our side, Cata Santiago, a dreamer, said in a statement. We are calling for the immigrant community and our allies to take to the streets immediately to demand that Congress pass legislation guaranteeing permanent protection for immigrant youth now. Dozens of dreamers were in the Senate's viewing galleries Friday night watching as the drama unfolded beneath them. Police were gathered in force just outside the galleries with piles of plastic handcuffs, prepared for the kinds of protests and mass arrests dreamers have fostered around the Capitol in recent weeks. There were no disturbances in the galleries, but there was plenty of confusion among senators who seemed stunned that they actually careened into a shutdown despite Democrats and Republicans saying they didn't want one. Almost everybody on both sides doesn't understand how we ended up here, said Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. He laid blame squarely at the feet of the Dreamer debate, saying Democrats held the entire process, a two-year budget, money for the children's health insurance program and other needs, hostage to the immigration talks. Democrats suggested there were other sticking points, but acknowledged immigration and the fate of the Dreamers was the chief hurdle. But they said the holdup was President Trump's demands for major changes in immigration policy, which the White House said had to be passed along with any action on Dreamers. What happened to President Trump who asked us to come up with a deal? He backed off at the first sign of pressure, Senate Minority Leader Charles E. Schumer said. The Dreamers and their immigrant rights allies now find themselves in the same position as conservative and Tea Party groups, who pressured Republicans into an Obamacare fueled shutdown in 2013. That shutdown lasted 16 days, and Republicans relented in the end, walking away with no substantive gains. Dreamers are likely to emerge from this shutdown in better shape, with most lawmakers saying they do want to find a solution for them. Early Saturday morning, after the votes, Dreamers stood outside the Capitol in small groups. Some seemed stunned by the t 